Hey, welcome back, friends, and happy Friday. Hope you're getting ready for the weekend. Our friend Chris Lloyd from the Film Yap is back with his reviews of new movies that are hitting theaters this weekend and to tell us about next week's Indie Film Fest that you can check out. Chris, welcome as always, my friend. How you doing? Wonderful to be here. Some kind of a eclectic selections okay. this week. You know, maybe one kind of big movie, but then some very offbeat, strange uh, movies. I like strange movies. Yeah. I, like, I like things that don't fit into easy categories. That's fun. All right, well, we love your reviews. Let's dive right in. Talk to me about The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I love the title. Yeah. This is from Guy Ritchie. If you know him, you know his style, uh, like Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, mm -hmm. the uh, out of the Hitchcock movies, They're not Hitchcock movies, uh, but you know him. It's They're violent movies, but they're funny and quirky characters. Henry Cavill plays a guy who's tapped by the British government to lead a secret squad of misfits and criminals and okay. bad types. Bad guys doing good things. You know, the Dirty Dozen, yeah. in, uh, uh, Inglorious Bastards. That's the tradition of this. They're gonna go to uh, uh, occupied uh, France during the, uh, the war and try and do some good things. Yeah. Uh, and just a lot of fun, it's gonna be uh, very, very violent from what I've heard, Okay. Uh, but very, very funny. This is getting great reviews. I think it's going to be, if, if you're just looking for a fun popcorn flick this weekend, yeah. this is going to be your choice. All right. Talk to me about The Beast. What's that one about? Here's one of those ones. Doesn't fit into e easy categories. It's like a romance, but it's also science fiction. Huh. Um, it's about uh, two people played by French star Leah Sado and British star Adam McKay, yeah. who are falling in love but in different timelines and iterations. So it's hmm. like it's 1910, then it's 2014, then it's 2044. And they're like being reborn as the exact same people who keep falling for each other, but they never quite consummate the relationship. They never quite become a couple. Yeah. Um, and some creepy things are going on in the future version. Ooh, they're undergoing these procedures to actually wipe their memories from previous lives, wow. but things are still breaking through. Uh, long movie, two and a half hours really takes a long time to get going. The okay. first, uh, I'll be honest, the first hour was pretty boring. Okay. But it picks up steam yeah. and it becomes more empathetic cool. in the last half. Where have I seen her before? What oh, she's, she's she been? the blue is the warmest color. She's been in a few American films. Okay. She's a big, big star in France. Yeah, cool. All right. Talk to us. I love this name in this next one. Sasquatch Sunset. All right. Another one. <laughs> what do you call this? Yes, it's Jesse Eisenberg, if you know him, mm -hmm. uh, but you won't recognize him because he's in an ape suit. It's supposed to be set in prehistoric times, and these are like precursors to human beings. Okay. And there really isn't a story. It's just about this small group of four people. He's kind of like the young Sasquatch. Okay. Um, and there's like the, the, the patriarch of the group who kind of bosses them around. Yeah. And they're just going around, and they're having adventures and having romances, and it's it's... If you look at the billing for it, if you watch the trailers, it looks like it's a comedy, like a goofy, raunchy comedy. Yes. But the reviews of this are actually saying it's like actually kind of like deeply affecting huh. and moving. So okay. I really wanted to see this one. I didn't quite get to it okay. uh, preparing for the film fest and stuff, but it looks like a real, uh, just an eclectic choice. That's cool. All right. Yeah. I, I, I checked that one out. Uh, Abigail, this one looks creepy. It is. But yeah. in this one here, this is another, it's actually a heist movie and a vampire horror flick. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, 12-year-old girl, uh, daughter of a very, very rich guy, is being uh, kidnapped by a group of thieves who are going to hold her for ransom for $50 million. Wow. But little did they know that, yes, she is a Nosferatu, and she's going to start mm. killing them. She's chasing them yeah. instead of the other way around. Looks like a goofy fun. Uh, we'll have a review of this uh, probably up tomorrow on the Film app so you can check out what our critics thought of this one. Okay, cool. Okay, big, big week next week here in Indy. The Indie Film Fest coming yes. up on the 24th through the 28th. What do you know about it? Uh, I think they're going to have about 90 films all together. Wow. Um, and it starts Wednesday with the opening night film, which is Last Days of Summer, okay. which is set and shot right here in Indianapolis. Nice. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, you can see reviews from us from the film app of a bunch of the movies reviews. Probably start rolling out starting about Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, and this is in person, but then there's also some options later on to see like some of the award winners. Okay. Uh, I am honored to once again have be serving uh, on a jury. Okay. Uh, I think I have 15 or 16 years running sur serving wow. on Indie Film Fest juries, uh, and a lot of great selections, I can tell you. Uh, and just, you know, if you love those smaller films, yeah. Indiana films, just the films that you don't quite see in the movie theaters, sure. um, go, go check this out. You can see some really, Really cool stuff, some gems. That's great. Any exclusive content for the Film Yap? I mean, on your website, are you interviewing any of the directors or filmmakers? We'll try to, but okay. we, we will have reviews for a, a bunch of the films. Uh, so you can go check those out, just like your normal reviews, but yeah. tied to the Indie Film Fest. Only place in, you can see some of these films. Awesome. Go check it out, filmyap.substack.com. While you're there, hit that subscribe button. 
Chris and his team have awesome reviews and great giveaways as well throughout the year. Chris, thanks as always. Enjoy the weekend, man. My pleasure. All right, still to come, the Indianapolis Men's Chorus are going to give us a live preview of their Muppet Mania Spring Shows that you can check out this weekend at Marion University. Opening night is tonight. Plus, we want you to put your trivia skills to the test in today's Indy Now Pop Quiz. We'll be right back. Stick around.